We're in rural Herefordshire at Slate House. It's a passive house that's been occupied for a few years now. We're going to have a chat with uh, Graham and Stuart and we're going to have a look around. And very interesting, this particular example, how some of the design decisions made early on, how they influence the process. A lot of effort on designing from inside out, very small budget. Graham is a trained design professional, he's a landscape architect, so he had some strong ideas. And just interesting to see you know, what they think about the design process. We live in a very uncertain world and this place, right from day one when we moved in, has just quietly got on and done its job. It's an absolute joy to come into this place on a bright, cold day in winter. You really feel the benefit of the, uh, of the passive solar gain. It's just really, really comfortable. Pretty much stable temperature most of the year, about 21 or something. If there is a downside, it's the fact that it's so comfortable and I go somewhere else that's a bit cold and it's like, mm, I have to put on a jumper, which you just don't seem to have to hear. It's always interesting the journey people come on with low energy buildings, in this case, Passive House, yeah. but it doesn't feel like it's a big green statement. It just feels like very much an ordinary, lovely house. What was the big driver? Why did you decide to, because there weren't that many Passive Houses in the area at the time. I was thinking of my old age not having to decide between heating and eating, you know. And this is happening now, and astoundingly, of course, it doesn't even affect us whatsoever because the bills are so absolutely modest. Stuart had some concerns about how it looked from the outside because we ended up with a fairly asymmetric view, but does he, does he embrace that? <laughs> yes, I think so. That was one of the few specifications I had, was that the house should look good from the outside. And part of that for me was that it did not have asymmetrical windows. So I've, I've really fallen in love with what I initially thought was rather a unexciting box to start off with. I mean, Graham, you built the canopies and the cold store, which has added to the character of the place. I mean, some people would criticise the architecture of some simpler buildings, thinking, yeah. you know, it should be more of a statement. But what I like here is you've taken it with a blank canvas. You, you basically, the builder finished an airtight box, yeah. insulated box with the ventilation in, and you finished it off. So you did a lot of the actual physical work, but also there's design decisions for the interior mm. and so on. I think it's made it absolutely lovely. I hadn't realised that there were an infinite number of ways of dividing up a box, and I kind of got into that, and suddenly having dormer windows didn't seem important anymore. The ideas I had about architecture and building came from things that I watched on the television. It was quite interesting to kick off with Passive House because the design was very simple, and all the time you were watching the budget, and I was possibly slightly fearful throughout how it might end up, because my solution would be this kind of smart look that you frequently see in a magazine, but it's ended up absolutely fantastic with a design which had asymmetrical windows. Oh, I love those asymmetrical windows. I've grown windows to love there. them too, but I, I'm interested in this idea of design from the inside out in that the reason those windows are in that place is because of the considered placement of those windows from the rooms within. No one at any point, as far as I remember, stood on the outside and placed them no. as a composition. No. The composition is something that emerged out of the design process, isn't it? Indeed. So we were all surprised by it. In the yeah, 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 yeah. So we plonked that window just to get a view from the bed and it absolutely works it frames it's the, the best view, view the in the house it's not nice. it's a, a long view and this window too was designed as a long window because of the work surface and the washing up it's quite a nice example because it doesn't open because you, you'd struggle yeah, yeah, to reach yeah, yeah. it yeah, yeah. you've got other opening windows mm -hmm. in the same room and it just gives it a lovely um, simple frame view yeah. if you'd suddenly won the lottery and you'd had 10 million pounds to spend on this mm -hmm. building would it have been a better building or is some of what makes it lovely, and I think it is lovely, does that come from the constraints? I actually would have chosen most of these materials in any case, because uh, I don't think, to me, they don't look like value engineered, you know, compromising at all. Um, you know, I would have chosen this floor and I, I would have chosen the, the cladding and stuff like that, so. The polished concrete floor, this is a high value, low cost, mm. whereas cost cutting, it would be like if you put plastic vinyl down on yeah. the floor on a cheap screed or use click flooring or something you know so what I'm trying to get across is the difference between genuine value engineering yeah. which is like things like the windows without extra frame and mully and simple forms sized right simple building form 
why would anyone do something that wasn't well, was, value for money in any case? No, you know? It was a mystery to me as well. I work in nature conservation and I have uh, I've done that all my life and it's kind of ironic that possibly my biggest single green gesture has been nothing I've ever done in the, in the, in the field of nature conservation but commissioning and uh, half building and moving into a passive house. A visitor early on said it's just a complete no-brainer and I think it, it just so is. It's completely changed the way that I thought about what is a sensible, valuable house, the kind of house that should attract attention and praise in 2023. It's been a fantastic journey for me in that.